welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to show you some Bath & Body Works empties and then also some Bath & Body Works items that I picked up. Technically, we can thank Ben for the items that I picked up because we happen to walk with Bath & Body Works. He suggested we go inside and then, oh, we got some goodies. Before I show you the goodies, let's talk about the things that I've used up. Uh, it's the majority of candles. There are just a few odd ducks that aren't a candle, but we'll start with those first. I have this Cherry Woods Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This is awesome. The notes in here are cherry tart, obviously, cranberry, and blonde woods. I just really liked the cherry notes in here. It was a really nice, good sort of fall, end of summer sort of scent. We used this up really quickly. I prefer the gentle foaming hand soaps over the antibacterial ones. I also used up this random Forever Red Vanilla Rum Fine Fragrance Mist. This was what I was using in my car, and I have to say, I'm not a big fan of the packaging. This sort of like red ribbon is a little bit annoying and kind of gets in the way of being able to just pick it up and grab it. I also have to admit, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Vanilla Rum scent, but with the using up of that, I'm down to four fine fragrance mists, which is flippin' fantastic. Um, I also used up a sugar scrub. This is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This was okay. I um, actually used this up really quickly because I didn't realize that the top part here was separated. So when I first used it in the shower, I squeezed it and a bunch just came out of the top, which was kind of annoying, but whatever. I didn't love the scent anyway, so I wasn't super bummed about it. Um, I just prefer the old, like I have an old 2010 Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin and I prefer that much more than this like newer 2015 version. So I'm just glad it's out of my collection. All right, down to the last part of the trash. I have the Pumpkin Spiced Cheesecake Candle. This was okay. It just didn't burn super stellar. I had to combat puny wicks. It took a while to burn down. Um, the scent was all right, but it wasn't my absolute favorite, so I wouldn't pick up any more if I saw it again at the semi-annual sale. I also used up Marshmallow Fireside. Oh, this is so, so good. I just love the smoky firewood scent that's in here. It's got a little bit of sweetness, but it really is sort of that fire scent that I like. This though burned wicked fast. I think we used it up in one weekend. It just pooled so efficiently and the scent throw was awesome. I definitely would like to get another one of these. They carry a similar scent. I think like in the winter they call it log cabin or something. It's very similar so I think I'll probably get the winter one when the uh, $8 candle day comes around which I'm, I've been hearing is like the first week of December somewhere in there. Uh, I also used Cider Lane. This one, you can see the wicks are all over the place and there's some bad sooting on here. Right when it got to here, I got puny wicks and I could no longer smell it. So I threw it onto my wax melter and then I could smell it again. I liked the scent of it, but it was a lot of effort, so I probably wouldn't buy this candle again because of that. And then Ben decided that we couldn't just wax melt it. He actually lit it, which is why it got all that stuff on the sides because the wicks were here. But you know, it was, it, again, I liked the scent, but I didn't like all of the effort it took to get the scent out of it. And the last one I have is the same thing. It was Spice Pomegranate Cider. Again, same issues. It got puny wicks. I had to throw it on the wax melter. A lot of effort for a candle that smells just like okay, it doesn't light the world on fire. I preferred Cider Lane over the pomegranate one, which I'm surprised because I heard so much about this candle, but it just didn't live up to all the hype that I had been hearing about it, so I wouldn't buy it again. Okay, so the big thing that Ben and I stocked up on were winter hand soaps. We do have some winter hand soaps left over from last winter, but I don't think it'll be enough to get us through to the very end. So we decided to pick up some more. I have to admit, we smelled, there were a ton of different hand soaps, but a lot of them I wasn't the biggest fan of. Neither was Ben, um, which is weird because normally we have a hard time narrowing it down. And this time we only walked away with five, which doesn't seem like a lot because there literally were what felt like a couple dozen different sets but just not a lot that we loved. So the first one I picked up was Snow Kissed Citrus. This is what we're gonna put in our kitchen. It has a really nice citrusy scent, but it's got some spice to it, which I like. 
Then we have Fresh Sparkling Snow. This has a pear note in it. I'm someone who really, really loves pear notes in soap. So we got this one, and then we also got Comfort and Joy pear right on there. Big fan of both of those. And then in classic Ben fashion, he found Vanilla Snowflake. I don't think Ben and I have ever shopped in Bath & Body Works together without us walking away with at least one vanilla item. That is just his go-to scent. Doesn't matter the season. If it has vanilla in it, he's going to want it. So we picked this one up. It's got, uh, it says coconut with it as well, but it really just comes across more as a vanilla scent. And the last one we got that I really liked was A Thousand Wishes. I don't think this is an exclusive winter hand soap, but I'd never seen it before, and I really like the scent of A Thousand Wishes, so I was pumped to pick this up. Then we got two candles. The first we got was Winter Rose. This candle, first off, the lid is beautiful, but I love the scent of this. It's like a... um almost like a soapy rose scent, which for some reason I'm really excited about. I hope it has a good scent throw to it because it is a light scent. So if it's not a very strong scent throw, I'm not gonna be able to smell it, which will bum me out. But um, this just, I just, I like the scent of it a lot. I don't know if I'd call it necessarily a winter scent, but I'm really feeling it. And then on the other end of the spectrum, I picked up Hot Cocoa and Cream. This I heard like, rumors about and people saying it was hard to find at their stores and I have to admit this was over two different trips Ben and I went to for Bath and Body Works and each time there were very few candles in their like storefront that they had. I don't know if they're just like testing this candle out to see how well it does before they really start to have it mass hit stores or if it's so popular people are just like buying it by the multiples. I don't know but I have to admit I really really like this scent. I am not normally someone who likes chocolate scented things but this is really awesome this to me smells exactly like hot chocolate and i hope that it makes my whole house smell like hot chocolate because that's like a really awesome enjoyable scent uh, i also had some coupons it was just like getting free items so the first one we got was twisted peppermint shower gel i've never actually used this and i feel like every year i smell it and i'm never super into it but Man, for some reason this year, it just is saying yes. And I've noticed in my collection, I don't really have a whole lot of winter type shower gels. I've got so many flora ones that I could really use in the spring and summer and probably the like start of the fall, but I really don't have too many fall winter ones. I have like the most of them right now in my shower and then when they're gone, they're gone. So I figured I would try this one to see if I would like a peppermint scent in my shower. And then we also picked up snowflakes and cashmere. Again, I smelled a lot of the new winter scents and I wasn't super pleased or impressed with a lot of them. Like the coconut scent that they put out for winter is a repackage of what the coconut scent was from the Hawaii collection this summer, which I thought was a little shady on their part to just automatically repackage something less than a season ago, but whatever. This smells like, um, it's like a mix of, I think, cashmere glow and a vanilla scent. So I liked it. I think it's pretty neutral. And Ben, um, if he decides to use lotion this winter, we'll probably like this too. So those are all the things we picked up. We also got three of what I believe are precious coupons. These are $10 off 30 and it's good October 17th to December 24th. And the reason why I want to start stockpiling these and I encourage you guys to stockpile these is if the $8 candle day comes back, which I'm pretty sure it's going to, I've heard rumors that it'll be like December 7th or 8th, you can separate your orders and be able to basically get candles for like five or six bucks, which I think is really awesome. I will admit when we were smelling the winter candles, there were a lot of my favorites that I love that came back. And then there were some new ones like the hot cocoa one. And I'm foreseeing a relatively big candle haul because I just really love winter candles. I know people go nuts for the October ones, but my bread and butter for candles is truly the months of winter. I absolutely love the winter scents that Bath & Body Works puts out for candles, so I'm sure I will be mass hauling. I don't care. I just love winter candles. But as always, I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about the winter collection? Are you into the candles? All of that jazz. I'm really curious to hear from you guys, and I love talking about the different collections for Bath & Body Works, but that's it for me. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.